Okay, see, this is why you need to stay off the internet. So, hold on, y'all. So, this box arrived today. And it's, it's, it's taller than me. And I said, well, what, what could this be? I ain't ordered nothing. And I surely ain't ordered nothing this big. So, I got to take the staples off, taking the staples off. And, and then I peeped in the box. And I remembered. Yes, I did order something. So, let me try to show y'all. See, can I show y'all? Got no tripod, ain't got nothing. Now, look at here, y'all. Look at that. Now, let me say this. This is the first time I ever bought a tree online. I mean, let me not say online. This is the first time I bought a tree. You know, I see all y'all buying them trees and things and getting them delivered to your house and stuff. I ain't never done that. Uh, but here it is here. Ain't it pretty, y'all? It's real pretty. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me get finished getting it out of this box so I can show it to you in all this glory. All right, y'all. So, this here, that's a new cat bed. <laughs> y'all know how cats like boxes, so I can just imagine they're going to be in there. So, I, like I said, I usually don't buy trees online or whatever. But, uh, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to let y'all walk and go with me. We're going to go where the light is a little better. But I usually don't buy trees online. Not for any particular reason. I don't, You know, I see y'all getting things from Starks Brothers and Isons Nursery and all these different places and stuff. And like I said, it's nothing wrong with that. I don't have no problem with it. I just, I had never done it. Uh, and But there was a variety of peach. There's still another variety I want. Um, that I just had to have. So, Lord, they playing this music. Anyway, um, so there was a variety of peach I just had to have. So, and this is it. It's actually hard to find the peach. So, let me talk to y'all a little bit about it, okay? Uh, put, did I put them gloves up there? Y'all see, I'll be doing some crazy stuff. Anyway, um, so this tree show y'all the variety it is called can y'all read that that leaf is in the way this light today is giving me the blues can y'all read that it says rust and red so where i went to school at a Grambling state university um a lot of people don't know this about the area and honestly it's a misconception a lot of people think that um because it's Ruston is a, a town right next to Gramlin, uh, for anybody that wants to know. But anyway, um, and Ruston is supposedly known for their peaches. Uh, Ruston actually has a peach festival and all this grand crap. Um, but what a lot of people don't know is a lot of the peaches historically that were grown in that area were actually not grown in Ruston. They actually were grown in Grambling. Uh, Grambling used to have peach orchards on campus, and it's, it's old heads that have verified that. Where our football stadium sits right now, that used to be peach or a huge peach orchard. Um, because anybody that knows anything about Grambling is just like Tuskegee. It actually was founded by a Tuskegee grad. Booker T. Washington sent him to Louisiana for the same purpose that he founded Tuskegee, which was to give black in a rural area to give black farmers skills and education so that they could educate themselves. So we were started as an agricultural school as well as education. Um, Grandma has kind of lost the agricultural side of it. Uh, I think the last little bit of something that would be considered kind of like agriculture, they closed that program, I want to say in the early 2000s. Um, but I think people are realizing that agriculture programs are actually good programs. But anyway, long story short, so I read about this peach that was a variety that was bred. Oh, and by the way, I want to mention this. Most of the actual, like, people who owned the peach orchards were generally white, but the people who actually did the growing, the farming, were black. So a lot of the peach varieties, for instance, Grambling State University would always sell 
white peaches which were grown on campus to the governor of Louisiana every year as a gift and they would also send a turkey that was raised on campus as well because we used to have animal programs on campus a long time ago as well. So um, Gremlin is pretty like historically, I don't know if a lot of people now know that history, but um, but Gremlin as a town, even before the university there was very heavily agricultural, a lot of black farmers, a lot of stuff like that. So when I found out there was a variety of peach named for Rustin uh, and said to be grown almost exclusively uh, in Ruston, which I'm not crazy. It was probably grown in Gramlin as well. I have a feeling that this peach actually was probably a variety that was created by a black person. Because I'm going to be honest and tell you, a lot of the white people weren't doing anything. They were standing around making money while the black people was doing all the farming. Um, so, I have a feeling that this peach is probably owes its existence probably to some black people. Um, so, I had to have it, of course, just like I have seeds for Odell's watermelon. If you don't know what that is, that's the watermelon that was bred by a black man. Um, and I'm going to do a video talking about uh, where to get seeds and stuff. I'm going to open that up later so I can let that breathe. But the peach tree actually don't look that bad. Um, up at the top, I kind of see a little a little something there. It's kind of chewed up a little layer, but that that's probably from shipment. But overall, it looks pretty good. But now I have a rusting red, which these are getting very hard to... Um, come by now i don't know if anywhere home depot locally used to sell them about 20 years ago 15 20 years ago um i don't know that they sell them now and i was not avidly gar gardening back then i got that information from someone uh who bought one a long time ago but theirs has they killed it they did something to it and killed it but anyway um so yeah this is a variety that I really wanted to have number one because it's getting rare. Number two, there there is still one peach orchard left in Ruston. Um, the peach orchard that is left, he has a serious root rot problem. There's a fungus that grows in the soil that basically rots the roots of peach trees and some other um, plants. Some plants it doesn't bother at all, like pines or certain other kind of trees, but for whatever peaches it it, it basically over time your trees have about five years and then the tree's dead um so and i think he's going to get out of the peach orchard business um he says you don't make any money blah 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 but to be honest he farms like an old farmer with no new ways of making money when you see you have problems with your peaches keep selling them while you can because basically what he's been doing is keep doing it and replace the trees but that's not smart so because if he hadn't have had a monoculture there to begin with he never would have gotten that and i don't think he even understands that but once again that's why monocultures really just do not work um diseases and pests are just basically normally just take you over um so anyway i wanted to get that tree so that i could have it and um that is i believe a grafted tree i have to look again but i'm pretty sure it's a grafted tree but i will have it so that um i can then propagate the tree and perhaps have that variety i also wanted to taste it i was curious about what it tasted like because they said it has it's very they say it's very pretty it's red on the outside which is why it's called rustin red and but it's a yellow flesh peach so we shall see what it tastes like or whatever and um i haven't been out here today but anyway we shall see what it tastes like and see how it does and that was actually successful if you're wondering i bought that tree from um plant green me or something like that uh that is where i bought that from and uh like i said it's a um it's a rustin red and it it came looking really good so i'm happy about that um i don't feel like i wasted my money <laughs> um i'm gonna water a couple of things while i'm out here we're supposed to get rain tomorrow but I'm just stuff look like it kind of need a little, a little agua. So, yeah, y'all finally got my first little peach from online. So I guess my little, I need to quit buying stuff. By the way, if anybody's wondering, that peach costs, I think it was 70 bucks for as big as it is. It's a good size. 
The trunk isn't a good size yet. It's a good size and it came in a good size pot. It's not in a five gallon pot. That pot is bigger than that. It's probably a seven gallon, maybe eight gallon pot. So um, it's a little bit more mature. Hopefully it will fruit next year, maybe. I mean, I know it's not gonna be, if it does fruit, it won't be many fruit. But I can tell that this tree is not like, first of all, it's a grafted tree. Number two, well, let me double check. Let's double check and see if it's grafted. Um, but if it is a grafted tree, it looks to be two, at least, maybe three. When they're in these pots, it's deceiving because um, most definitely it's grafted. Can y'all see the graft line right there? Right there. See it? So, um, yeah, this tree is probably two, maybe three. My other peach has started um, bearing at that age. So, I see my elderberries are making flowers, finally. I was waiting on them. Well, you know what? I hit them with that homemade fertilizer a, a few days ago. And I think that kind of encouraged them. Let me see if I can pull some of these branches down and show y'all. Because if I just point the camera up into the... Oh, let me see what y'all can see. Y'all see it? There's one. There's, a, there's another big one way up there. I'm not going to try to bend that down. I'll try to break it. But um, I'm going to try to use those elder flowers. I'm going to leave maybe half the blooms to go to berries. And the other ones I want to use the elder flowers. So, yeah. I got a few things I need to do out here, though. This I need to move this horseradish from up in the front. And I'm going to try to use this water to water this. See, I get on camera and start doing our cans and stuff. See? I hope that ain't. And then I want to try to pull all that in there. Okay. Okay. So, that horseradish is a little droopy. But you see how pretty that one is? That's going to come out of there. I got some totes for a dollar at the local thrift store. So, I'll be uh, I'll be moving that horseradish to a tote. It's not going to grow by itself. I think I'm going to put maybe like peppers, tomatoes, something else in there with it. I'm tipping down here to make sure I haven't lost any peaches on my tree. I don't see any. Gone. I see all the bags still on. They're steadily coming back, growing. Oh, that's a good. Oh, look at these figs. They get so big so fast. Those I couldn't. Those were so small I couldn't even put bags on them before. Oh, there's another. I'm. Oh, I'm gonna be getting some figs this year. I guess my. That's another thing. I had a whole bunch of yams that came up. Um, I just pulled them up. Okay, let me show y'all this right quick, and then I'm gonna get out of here. So if you got yams for me, you see this? <laughs> this is where bulbils fell. You see? This is where bulbils fell. And um, but when you catch them and they're this young and they just they fell in all these leaves. Uh, so I always these these are all the bulbils that I that hit the ground that I didn't know about. Um, but I just pulled those up right quick. Really, to be honest, they won't they won't do too well because they wouldn't have anything to climb. And I also weed eat in between my trees. So if you cut them down once or twice when they're that little, they don't have enough energy to regenerate like over and over and over again. So that's another reason. So you may think that that's invasive because you see all those down there. If you weed them or mow them or pull them. If you pull them, they're done right then. But if you uh, mow them down twice, they probably won't come back. Because they just, they don't have enough energy to do that. But those are all the ones that hit the ground that I just don't know about. But the ones that I keep are, are in here. So I redid a bunch of paragraphs. Since that sign wood was wrapped up in the, um, what you call that stuff? Parafilm. The sign wood was still good and green, but the graft didn't take. Like once you, you could look at it and see, like I had, like on the pears, it seems like I had some air.
to get in the you don't want the air to be in the joint where you put the two pieces of wood together um you because they won't fuse together if there's air in there so i clearly didn't have a couple of them super tight and the ones i didn't have super tight i regrafted so this one took this one did not and i'll try to show y'all what i mean y'all see how brown that is how it's healed over so that didn't take i regrafted here um also didn't have some good size matches i regrafted here let's see that graft took i regrafted there as well and i have a graft on the back side that took that graft right there you see the tag um this didn't take but this was like some strange apple or something i wasn't worried about it i also tried grafting onto actual green wood this time in places to see if that'll make the pear grafts take better my apple grafts seem to have taken really really well i had more trouble with the pear grafts i think i had one or two apple grafts that failed i knocked one off regrafted it that didn't do anything um so yeah um, I think this one is actually going to take these leaves look a mess, but they are trying to grow um, I don't know. We'll see usually if it doesn't take they, the the leaves will start coming out Then they brown up and the bud dies and all that stuff, but my apples took quite well the skill coat varieties I may do a video on those um, And talk about those but yeah, that's pretty much everything out here my persimmons not gonna give me persimmons this year which sucks um, cause I was really looking forward to my little persimmon, cinnamon pie tasting fruits. But anyway, till next time, see you guys later.